Adam asks whether he will regret using type ORM instead of Prisma long term. No, I don't think so. I think they're both great. I also like Drizzle. Any difference between these is going to be splitting of hairs. So I'll split hairs a bit in this video, but from the high level, if you're trying to accomplish a full stack portfolio, any of these are gonna work. Okay, so let's split hairs a little bit though. Here's type ORM, weekly downloads about 2.2 million. And here's Prisma about 3.4, so it's about 50% more common. Prisma is also the ORM of choice in the common web development higher order frameworks, including the T3 stack and the TAN stack. So as far as I can tell, Prisma is the only ORM used in any of TAN stack's examples. There's also this debate between Angular and React, and they're both fine. They're both good for your portfolio. The typical employer will say if you can do one, they assume you can learn the other, but React is slightly more popular. And the React mental model is slightly more functional in nature, while the Angular mental model is slightly more object oriented in nature. And so going along with that, Prisma, Prisma goes a little bit better with the functional composable paradigm because it's going to use a domain specific language in its own file um, to define your entities. So you don't define the entities in code, you define the entities using a domain specific schema, like a flat file, and then you can import generated types in contrast to type ORM where you're actually doing classes. So it's slightly more object oriented. Um, and so this is a little bit like closer to the Angular flavor. Also type ORM has like affinity to active record. Okay. So this is another like non react paradigm kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with it. In particular, if you're coming from a Ruby or rails background, this one could be easier to learn. Um, but that was just an, another comment that aligning with the react paradigm, which is the most popular web framework, I would lean toward Prisma and those higher order frameworks, TanStack and T3. But overall, it's really hard to go wrong with any of these. Um, they're all in the millions of users. They're all gonna be able to convince employers that your portfolio is great. So really, depending on your background, one of these tools might be more comfortable for you to pick up. And I would advocate that you lean into that. Thanks for the question.